I have no idea what day it is. Tuesday? It's Tuesday. Tuesday, where are we going? We are going to Dillon, Montana. Okay. We're going to be there for three days. Okay. On our way north. Okay. And after that, I think it's bare mouth because there's no room in Missoula. There's no room at the inn. Yeah. But we have our own inn. We just have to find a place to park it. Okay. okay. Off we go for, what, two hours? Two hours. That's it. Okay. Welcome to Montana. to Sparky's Garage. Sayer's office. No, that's where the, the goal, yeah. We have to go get some gold.
What is it? The saloon? Skinner Saloon. Wonder if they're related to Dawn. This is where all the bachelor miners lived. Yeah, I'd say the, the restroom needs a little work. digging field. Okay, doing a little rock hounding. Uh, I'm digging into the side of this hill. I did find here's one. Yeah. Gotta keep looking.
we travel around, we notice, you know, some cities just have a, a good feeling and some not so good. So we're in Dillon, Montana. And this is one of the ones that has a really good feeling. So Dillon has a population of 4,200 people and they have built this really awesome playground. This is the little store, it's called the Milk Pail, that Debbie walked by and then she came up to me and said, the purse that I've always wanted and have to have is in this store. So she's in there getting the purse that she's always wanted, barbecue and chicken. I hope it gets done before this rainstorm hits. Otherwise, I'll have soggy chicken. Friday morning? August yes. something. Second. August 2nd. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the day. Um, you lose track of days and dates. <laughs> So we're leaving the RV park just south of Dillon. Dillon was a really neat place. Yeah, we like Dillon. People are very friendly. So we're heading about two hours north, which is, what, 30 minutes south of Missoula? 30 minutes south of Missoula. It's called Bear Mouth RV, but I think it's in Clinton. know you're in a rural area <laughs> when you have to cross over a cattle guard on the on-ramp to the freeway. spaces in Missoula. So we are 30 miles south of the Missoula, which is the closest we could find. And they have a beautiful river. I mean, I'm right right on the park. You can see there's people parked right here. The only downside is behind the river is Interstate 90. Saturday morning. The rain, the rain is over. We have blue skies. So we're heading into Missoula to go to the farmer's market. And then... Harris wherever, Park. Huh? Harris Park. Harris Park. There's a neat park with lots of walking. And carousel. 
Those are good. I love patty pans. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, patty pans or yellow zucchini if you want. Dave and Jeff, I just bought a ripe, I mean ripe as in I need to eat it at lunchtime, Cherokee purple tomato. Oh, here it is. Look at that baby. Ugh. Yeah. And we bought some lettuce and some squash, some patty pans, and a purple, what was it? A purple pepper. A purple, <laughs> sweet pepper. A, that was a purple sweet pepper. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. We're missing the garden. Yeah. That's okay. We we found a garden. They have one here. <laughs> Jeff, we found a cactus stand at the farmer's market. They can survive all winter. Huckleberry stand. That's a lot of huckleberries. But it's five pounds for $55. I don't know what you do with five pounds of huckleberries, but a lot of people are buying them. <laughs> I'm thinking jam. Becky would like these. Look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah, I'm glad you guys made it out there. We, we always try to take our out of town people uh, to oh. the battlefield. You went to that too. We didn't go. We didn't make it there. We ran out of time. Yeah, the the battlefield and Bannock are both uh, just, you know knockout destinations. Have to go back. I really like the. Park. Oh, well, that kid's way up at the top. That's where Skyler would be. Behind you. Oh, wow. Came here to see the carousel. But apparently the main bearing is broke, so it's closed today. Like Card City. Pies <laughs> on a stick. What? Pies on a stick. Pies on a stick. Is that awesome? Well, there you go. There's a concept. That one's really good. That's the chai one. Yeah, that one I love mixing with mashed potatoes or using it uh, on top of the baked potato. Get that cheesy chai flavor. Okay, here, bye. So, Dave, Ray, we could crush 